Hey now, what's up, party people? Welcome to the Honest Trailer Commentary for Terminator. Dork fate, yeah, it's so dork. Oh, yeah. The fate is really dark. Oh, it's so one. dork. Uh, we're going to be talking about our thought process behind the trailer, some deleted scenes, responding to questions and comments from viewers like you, a little, little tease for next week's Honest Trailer. That's exciting. A little ah, tease, a little, little teaser. pepper on it at the yeah. end. Um, I'm here with Dan. Hello. I'm here with Lon. Hey, hey. Uh, uh, Danielle is working, and Joe is out of town. Oh, well, so it's the three go. of us. Yeah, yeah. Well, stuck with us. That's, that should be enough we'll to uh, uh, to take on and take down this travesty of the movie. Uh, <laughs> it's it's fine. Why it's, you turn into Cartman every yeah. day now? <laughs> <laughs> that's my commenter voice. Yeah. Oh. Um, it's a uh, this is a film that my perspective on this film uh, and why I think maybe I was more lenient, more positive on it is Terminator Genesis might be my least favorite movie mm. ever made. Oh, wow, mm -hmm. that's bold. Um, it, in modern like studio filmmaking, out of that process, like not yeah. an experimental, weird, like intentionally upsetting film, Terminator Genesis was so just half-assed, and every choice made to me was the wrong choice, and the acting was wooden. And yeah, we're not talking about that. You can see other videos for us about Genesis, but mm -hmm. I, I do I, think we should talk about relaunching Skynet as an app. I think that <laughs> merits discussion. But okay, let's. It on. connect. You know what annoys me the most about that script <laughs> is that they. You can tell that they were working on it for years before it got made yeah. because, like, the killer feature of Skynet or whatever, or Genesis that made everyone uh, update was like, it syncs your email and your files. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, Whoa. it's called the. It's called the cloud, <laughs> yeah. and we've had it for like Many five years. years. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Dumb. Um, uh, what do you guys think about Dork Fate? I think it is the best Terminator sequel by default. Sure. Uh, but but the reason I think it is the best Terminator sequel is that I think it is a well staged, well acted, well shot, pretty exciting action movie that is the most offensive Terminator movie ever made. <laughs> Into the sense of like, I liked every aspect about this film except the fact that I think it completely insults everything about the franchise. Sure. Yeah. Top you, mean, to bottom. you mean the best Terminator 2 sequel, just to clarify, before they beat us up. Not the best yes, Terminator I'm sequel. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I think it's, I think, yes. Obviously, Just to spare Terminator, us 100,000 yes, No, comments. thank you, yes. <laughs> the best sequel to Terminator 2. Thank you, okay. Uh, yes. that, has, that has yet been made. Yeah. I, I almost feel like Terminator and Terminator 2 have Merged into one film now. Yeah. The Terminators. To yeah. which they have been trying to make sequels. How dork is your fate, Lon? I mean, I, I, I largely agree. I think there's a couple cool action scenes in this movie. I think my two main gripes are uh I, I like the, the 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 thing in the beginning that really upsets the car. Like it sucks, but it's not one of my main gripes. My two main gripes are it's very much like redoing T two, just kind of changing some superficial details, but otherwise the storytelling is uh, is very similar, and I'd, I'm tired of of gooey, goo-based, oil, black nano villains where it's just like they're just like melty liquid guys and mm. it just it always looks the same like black sludgy stuff and it just doesn't look good to me a strong anti goo stance yeah I just I don't it's not exciting <laughs> it's not cool it, it doesn't make the action scenes any better we've seen it a bunch well, of times I think now. that there is goo potential um, because <laughs> like you can do anything with a goo and what they do is in this one he split in two he, he went from mm -hmm. two to goo and then he also has a yeah. uh, goo knife hands, but I feel like there's so many other things well, he could we did in Terminator anything. We already, yeah, we've, we've seen them make your, your arms into blades and use them to like poke holes through yeah, people. Yeah, just become some like thing. horrific, like Pennywise made of knives demon thing and, and hunt somebody through yeah, an apartment honestly, complex. A, like a Terminator that could make itself look like a monster yeah. would actually be kind of, we haven't tried that. And would probably be like more effective than just being like a, 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 a cop with a knife hand. I mean, I think that's really why I, I uh, on a Terminator level, I was so uh, not happy with this movie from a mythology standpoint because I, I didn't I did not jump off board at the beginning of the movie Sh okay you kill John Connor at the beginning of the movie you completely invalidate Terminator 2 uh, I was like okay like that's a bold move and you know what I respect it but where do we go from here? And the answer was, we just remake Terminator 2 again. Yeah. And that's why I was like, no, you can't do something just to do that and then basically, like, they used it as an easy reboot switch. And that's like, I'm not against huge ramification changing things to mythology if, yeah. if it's in service of something great, but they did the thing that I also didn't like in the Halloween movie, which was they sort of brought everyone back in on this premise of, like, we're wiping away the past and we are going to get rid of all this messy, crazy mythology. 
and we're bringing the original stars back and it's the, it's like the the final showdown like this is the sequel that you've been waiting for and i think both movies were just cheap setups to pump out more yeah. sequels it's like yeah. if you're gonna do this thing of the resets and the bringing people back that's great but do something interesting don't just make it a, a another yeah, entry reboot. to another sequel factory because yeah. then it's like ugh, now you've wasted that uh, approach right. too that's what i feel like it's just it's it's cynical it's like yeah. let, let's just we're we're gonna pretend like we're doing taking this crazy left turn but actually we're just basically read bits of the greatest hits yeah. we're gonna bring back the dialogue you remember the setups you remember we're not gonna and, resolve anything no and set this up as a new platform to yeah like basically relaunch the series and do yeah. it all over again and that's just it's frustrating as a viewer it's yeah. irritating and it, it's not gonna it's not gonna work like the most the most callous cynical version of it in this one is it's not skynet anymore it's, it's legion legion yeah. it's like oh well what what's different about it judgment nothing. day is inevitable <laughs> yeah like nothing is different about it we just changed the name it's like well if you're gonna change you could change everything about it maybe it's not even an ai anymore it's something different like think outside they the even box made the, that's the other thing is like okay it's not skynet it's legion it's something completely different that made the exact same yeah. killing robots that are also called also terminators time traveling. Yeah. that also have skeletons yeah. that also use time travel that also to try like, to kill no, the savior there's, there's, so there's nothing yeah. different there's nothing no, different this is the terminator the rav4 they changed the naming system <laughs> yeah. so that they, they did they, not, they didn't change anything yeah. it's just the same stuff well yeah. there's no fate but what we make for ourselves unless you are in one of these movies because the same thing's <laughs> gonna happen. So let's watch our honest trailer for Terminator, a dork free. I'm referencing that episode of Wife Swap, just in case you guys, <laughs> you guys know Wife Swap. Y'all know that famous episode. I believe it's called The God Warrior episode. <laughs> I didn't know what you were referencing. I've just been playing along. After Terminator 3 <laughs> let you down, Salvation left you bored, and Genesis had you wondering what you've done to deserve this. Can we just pause they real quick? I promise they... I won't pause this much throughout the whole thing. But I. I we're a little hard on Terminator 3. I actually kind of like Terminator 3. I like the ending of Terminator 3. I like the deleted scene where he's like, Hi, I'm, yes, yeah, I'm Calvin Candy. <laughs> I actually think there's some pretty good action in Terminator 3, and it does it as a clever, that's the only follow-up to T2 that has a clever twist on the Terminator mythology. I think. All right. I agree. Well, just I agree. I, I was actually very surprised at the end of Terminator 3, and I respected what they did. Yeah, like... Oh, is that when the Judgment Day happened? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, Judgment Day. It's the Nick Stahl, the, Claire yeah. Danes one, where they yeah. have to... They think they're going to stop Skynet, but they actually are just getting to the bunker so they can right. survive, so yeah. John Connor can become the leader of the Resistance. Yeah. Like, that's, that's a interesting idea. twist. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. in the middle of it, you had Talk to the Hand jokes. Yeah. yeah. Getting there was really goofy. It's got yeah. some It's got some weak moments, but like the whole, like, at the cemetery and then the chase, like, that's pretty yeah. cool. Like, mm -hmm. there's some good stuff. All right, that's well, all. Give it a rewatch. Let's move. Let's on. keep going. A decent Terminator movie. Only now, no one gives a sh. You know, you'd think out of all the franchises, this one would have a better sense of timing. Yeah. Terminator Dark Fate. Do you like the first two Terminators? Well, sure. what if they did that again? But this oh. time, pause. Kyle. Go back to that shot of the walking out of the ocean, like the, with their guns out. Yeah. Just the the the, the future war that they're in. It seems like it's being fought by two idiots, by some very <laughs> dumb, dumb generals, both on the human side and the robot side. We're like, again, you could be anything, You're liquid metal, you can make anything, and they just remake the human body, the, the yeah. fragile, uh, out of balance human body, and give it two giant yeah, well, laser like, guns there, it's to like, slowly walk out of the it's ocean. Really like, you could just make its hands the gun. You don't have to give it little hands <laughs> and then give it guns. Pew, 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 it's a pew. robot. You're designing it however you want. And then the human beings, they're fighting like a, a like a swarm of drones and and guys like this and stuff like that and again just like infantry just give them a gun and have them run yeah. out there and be like boo, 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 boo. Uh, well uh, yeah i had a weapon based uh, complaint that did not make it into this mm. uh, which is that uh, if you're watching this it's spoilers but the the enhanced human has yes. inside of her her power source is a terminator killing oh, that's one of our tags that we didn't use. oh it is yeah. okay well yeah. then never Save mind we'll get we'll get to we'll try to we'll try to finish that. this yes. What if they did that again, but this time, Kyle Reese was a girl, John Connor was a girl, and everything else was the same, from the characters to the action. Santa Shane was really the same. Yeah, there's the homage there. and then just redoing. Yeah, again. I mean, a big rig freeway chase, you can come up with anything else? The dialogue. <laughs> I'll be back, I'll be back. I'll be back. 
Sorta. Come with me if you want to live. Come with me if you want to live. Sit down Come right here. Come with me or you're dead in the next 30 seconds. That, that, that was the in one change in the timeline. Half of it is in Mexico. How do you not work Hasta La Vista into this one? It was right there. Yeah. Forget everything that happened the in the last yeah, three yeah. films. And done. And strap in for a story that picks up a few years after T2, then instantly makes that whole movie pointless. There you go. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. But if you can shake that off, Pause. you're it. Did you have more to say about it? I, again, it's like, I, I'm not against bold. I, I feel like the Jerry Seinfeld thing when he's just like, when, when he thinks that his j dentist converted to Judaism for the jokes. Yeah, and the guy's like, like, and the guy's like, oh, so it, it, it offends you as a Jew. He's like, no, it offends me as a comedian. <laughs> I, I feel like that way about the I, I'm not offended uh, just as a person. I'm offended as a Terminator fan mm. because they did something that drastic in service of the most predictable reboot formula you could possibly imagine. Yeah. Like, if you're going to do something like that, then do something interesting with the story like do something different or unexpected like I liked Linda Hamilton in this movie and I like Sarah Connor and I like this version of her where she can't get over it and she's really and I even liked what they did with Arnold Schwarzenegger and the whole idea of like what is the Terminator because we never really seen what does the Terminator do after it does what it's supposed to do yeah they don't go back forward they don't go back yeah. forward in time so like that I that like I enjoyed that aspect of it but like everything else around it was just a complete remake of the second movie it's like you have a little. You have an open for the first time ever. You 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 blow John Connor away. You have an open open roadmap to do whatever you want. Yeah. And instead they're just like, yeah, we're just gonna remake the second one. It's like, uh, yeah. really? It's yeah. a weird call because it's so clearly shock value. You could just explain like you could have. Linda Hamilton show up as old Sarah Connor and explain what happened to John. It doesn't have to be we see him be murdered. Like it could be like he's off doing this, fighting Terminators in Sweden or what you know. Like you don't yeah. have to see him. And so you they have to figure like at the end of Terminator Two, after what they'd been through, like they would be less chill. <laughs> Still, like they they right. wouldn't be like let's go on spring break and yeah, them all. Getting, like yeah, margs. go to the bar, get yeah. some get some top shelf margs, bring him, <laughs> bring him back, John. Uh, yeah, they'd probably still be off the grid. As yeah, they are oh, they totally be off the grid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, not at like Sammy Hagar's like Cabo Wabo. Yeah, restaurant. I just mean like you you put that scene in specifically because you want us to have that shock moment of oh my god they killed. Eddie Furlong, yeah. you bastards. But then they don't have anything to do with it. They just It's just there, and then it's over. It's there then, to, to re-grizzle Sarah Connor, but I'm saying she would never have ungrizzled. Yeah, no, she's been no, pre-grizzled. She's permanently grizzled. Yeah, so yeah. it wasn't really necessary. There's no ungrizzling of Sarah right, Connor. she's grizzled. We get it. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> That off, you're in for a Back to Basics Terminator picture where law enforcement mm -hmm. does the die. <laughs> The Terminator time tradition. Do the future sh what are you doing? Future sh and the guns pause. don't do. I appreciated that because that was my biggest issue with Genesis is that they really tried to break down the rules of time travel, what Terminators could and couldn't do. I'm gonna burp. Oh, that's <laughs> impressive. Thank you. Uh, LaCroix. Uh, uh, they just got so in the weeds and they gave a lot of that expository dialogue to Arnold. Yes. And in this one where they're like, you know what? I'm doing future stuff. Yes, like, they, I, yeah. I don't care your, how. Your real advantage in a Kyle Reese character is somebody from the future who can explain things as a human would yeah. instead of like, allow me to explain the future. <laughs> like, yeah. for, for a few movies now, we've only had robots traveling back. Right. And so you, you're then giving a lot of dialogue to a r r robot yeah. that they're, they're not allowed to emote because they're a robot. Yep. Yeah. It's right. a real advantage of putting a putting a Grace character so in. So I'm, I'm fine with every time travel movie doing something to that effect. Be like, I'm doing in future shit. Did we put the chip bag thing as one of the tags or no? I don't know if we did. Uh, Sarah Connor became your crazy aunt who keeps her phone in a chip bag <laughs> no. so, so that the government can't track her GPS. <laughs> yeah. Does that work? I'm sure it doesn't. No. And then and, and and they have Grace make fun of her for how that wouldn't work, even though like Sarah Connor would know that wouldn't work. Okay. Like, well, and then the term is like, if you go to put your phone in a potato chip bag. <laughs> Keep your phone in a potato chip bag. Yeah. Like, they, you know, it's, it's, yeah, but I feel like she, it, it's, a, it's a little out of character that she would even believe that would work. But okay. okay. All right. She's been trained in She likes potato chips. I mean, she does, yeah. I feel like she would just have like a Nokia phone, like a brick phone anyways. It wouldn't be. Right. have a lot of apps She's just going to buy a burner phone <laughs> yeah. or whatever, yeah. Anyways, keep going. What are you doing? Future sh And the guns don't do much of anything. Was that Genesis where they had the acid rain trap? Yeah. yeah. That was, okay, that was kind of smart. 
Yeah, that's the only time uh, we've really seen them like shoot, execute a, a plan. Linda Hamilton returns as Sarah Connor. Like how'd she get rid of Terminators every two years? Every cycle of reboots. A Terminator run. drops out, so I destroy it. And then two years later, same thing. But she's not the only <laughs> badass with Let Me Speak to Your Manager hair. There's Grace, an enhanced human with a couple of minutes of super strength in her before she gets white girl wasted. Yeah, so, <laughs> pause. <laughs> Again, this is an odd thing of just like, all right, we're gonna send you back to protect the future savior of humanity, and you will be effective for up to two minutes of fighting. Mm -hmm. And you then need, you will like, be completely disabled and helpless. And like, relying on like, rare prescription <laughs> drug, yes. like, like not even have her be able to be refueled by like a turkey leg or something. If we're gonna, if we're already <laughs> stealing, fight. if we're already stealing video game tropes, which this is, find us like, like the pizza on the street. Be like you're gonna Just finish crouch down over a plate of Thanksgiving but dinner. That's what this is. The, you, you beat the mini boss and then you have to get you know restock your energy. It's a total video game trope. Fair enough. Mm. But if you're gonna like. Just have it be something she can easily obtain. They've got it. Just, she's got to have plutonium, like it's Back to the Future or something. Well, what I think this movie inadvertently uh, uh, makes the future not as much of a dystopia as they think it is, because this movie takes place present day, right? Like yeah. 2019, yes. 2018, yeah. something like yeah. that. And uh, uh, the uh, uh, she's sent back from the 2040s. Mm -hmm. I believe that so. means in the next 20 years we crack like human robot augmentation. Time travel? We yeah. crack time travel in the next ten Art years. Artificial intelligence and time travel both right around the corner. <laughs> right around for the humanity. corner. Well, I, I we're almost there. Let me put on my Terminator nerd glasses. Mm. Uh, mm, the concept of time travel was never cracked by humanity. It was in fact the machines who uh, uh, figured out time see. travel. Yeah, 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 humans yeah, right. co-opted the machines when they invaded the Skynet's uh, uh, headquarters in the Ooh. final battle. Sent uh, Terminator uh, John uh, Kyle Reese back okay. to protect Sarah Connor. But so. it seems like pretty commonplace in this timeline. It seems like. You can send whoever back. Apparently, just like they've been grunt. sending. Term Apparently, they had a, 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 an assembly line of Terminators yeah, that they were this, sending back in future Skynet. Right. This is a thing that is like in, in every Terminator movie prior to this one. They they kind of they kind of do away with this on Sarah Connor Chronicles. So we'll put that aside. But it's 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 very hard to get your hands on the time travel equipment. We can only ever send one. It, the understanding has always been like we can only ever send one person that back and one robot back. And, yeah, yeah, like it's very specific, and we can only do it this once. And then. Uh, I guess they would kind of abandon that now because the idea was that they were sending a bunch of Terminators to hunt John Connor all around all the world just in time. case one could get lucky, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of kind of breaks Terminator a little bit. Like if you could just send infinite robots and soldiers back, yeah, right. why not send one back to like the 1880s yeah. to take over the? Country, <laughs> and then, yeah. then you then you build well, a, a Terminator robot. Habsburg could have run the world. Yeah, they could shoot the first uh, uh, the fish to crawl on land, and problem solved. Uh, <laughs> so you'll do not a very like, exciting the Terminator. Movie. <laughs> They're gonna squeeze this amoeba to death. But then, I wouldn't humanity you. not grow to then create Skynet in the first place? You have right. to like hit the sweet spot. You gotta wait until that's true. I guess and, they have yeah. to. They have to. They can't prevent their own creation. Yeah. Post, except, post Miles except, Dyson, but pre John Connor. Except you their creation that. is prevented in every movie, right? And they still keep coming. That's well. We were talking about this a little before. We we always have explored the idea that even if the Connors or whoever, <laughs> even if the Connor family, <laughs> ABC's, ABC's the Connors, the Connors <laughs> even if they save humanity, yeah. they don't. Really, they just delay yeah. because yeah. Judgment, judgment Day is inevitable. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> uh, but we don't. Does it, I don't know if it goes the other way. Like if if they had managed to kill off every. Like if they killed the Connors and then Danny and like every resistance fighter, will there always will be always pop up a new place. leader? Like so, so the whole time travel thing is pointless yes. because you're just whack a mole. Like yeah. you stop one and then another hero will rise. Maybe it's a commentary on you know Middle East policy, <laughs> like, the futility like, of. We got the head guy. Oh crap! There's uh, another head guy. Yeah, oh, what are you gonna like, do? Well, yeah. So humanity. Send is, another drone. So humanity is Al Qaeda in your <laughs> metaphor. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. <laughs> They'll form an unlikely alliance with a T-800 model who killed John Connor. Sarah! I'll kill you! Then used his newfound free will to become a celibate Texan drape salesman? Our relationship is not physical. I do drapes. 
Weird flex, but all right. All to protect Dan, the funny. future leader of humanity's <laughs> resistance, thanks to her powerful message. Robots bad. You should be fighting the machines. Oh, for real? <laughs> wow. Never thought of that till you brought Duh. it up. Guess you're in charge then. Uh, pause. Get I thought that was particularly dumb. Um, that they, uh, uh, the scene they chose to show to reveal that she was the resistance leader uh, in this alternate timeline, not John Connor, was they were accosting Grace. Uh, about to stab her and kill her for the food in her backpack. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Danny shows up unarmed and just like kind of wrestles one of them to a standstill and is like, forget food, the robots are the real enemy. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I never thought of it. Guns down, everyone, guns down. <laughs> like, you're still starving and you need the food in that backpack. Yeah. yeah. But robots were the bad guys five minutes ago, too. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like if Rick Grimes showed up at the sanctuary one day and was like, hey, there's zombies over there, you guys. Like, what are you thinking? Whoa. Whoa. I never thought of it that way. Let me put my bite down. Make Rick, a pretty damn good <laughs> point. <laughs> Anyways, we should have been killing zombies this whole time. I'll never I really think wanna, of it that way. I really want to see that scene now. Put my pee pants on. I never thought about it like that, Rick. You raised some interesting points. <laughs> That's All right. True. That's so true. Oh, uh, dystopias. Uh, yeah, we didn't need that scene. No. Or, or, or we... It's also, we, we saw that scene already. It's in Terminator Salvation. We see the scene where John Connor saves young Kyle mm -hmm. Reese, and it's almost exactly yeah. it plays out almost identical there you go yeah all right keep going you should be fighting the machines oh for real wow <laughs> never thought of that till you brought it up guess you're in charge then get ready to run from the all-new t-rev 9 a terminator model with the power to split itself in two and make itself a goo <laughs> but like so all good terminators so this unthinking killing machine won't hesitate to dramatically hesitate <laughs> And when this monster makes yeah, a living knife gets there. too close to a main character, you can bet he'll shove him real hard. This is a serious trope. Yeah. And before he kills you, you can bet he'll disarm you with cold, calculating manners. Buenas. Buenos dias. Sorry. Right. Good evening. <laughs> so charming. He's very, very nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's not so bad. Oh, I forgot. Wait, Robot pause. Bad. <laughs> you said... Uh, the, uh, you brought up something, I think, like that Arnold was also an infiltration unit? Yes, well, yeah. the Arnold was built to be an infiltration unit. All, all yeah. Terminators, yeah. Are, that, that's why they look human. Like, yeah. they're designed to, like, get in with the other humans and then right. kill them all. And I guess maybe, I'm sure there's a timeline explanation for it, but, like, okay, you're going south of the border. This is probably the guy you get. Uh, he, he he could blend in. Yeah, he could the, disarm people. The Mexico prototype. Why did they send Arnold to L.A.? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm from West Hollywood. I am supposed to blend in. That is why you have sent a six foot five, three hundred pound, full muscled Austrian accent and bodybuilder. Skynet got America and Austria mixed it's up. It's very close. I am one of you. In Austria, there's a bunch of like, hey, howdy, folks. I'm a Terminator. <laughs> Pay no attention to this hulking, very, very massive, massive person who. Is definitely here to kill you. I'm just, I'm just a I'm, club I'm, goer. I'm just an Angelino like I'm, you. I'm just another Angelino. Let's take Sepulveda. I mean, Sepulveda. <laughs> damn it, my cover's blown. How about that traffic in the Coenga Pass today? Am I right? <laughs> I'm definitely not here to kill you. I mean, through it's brute, no, brute strength. It's no different than Arnold in Junior. Like, hello, I am your obstetrician today. <laughs> or uh, or um, uh, Jingle All the Way. Or Jingle All the Way, which is like, yeah, Southern California suburban. Carl. Dad. Why aren't you home for Christmas? <laughs> ah, I'm busy selling mattresses. Yeah, like Predator makes sense. Yeah. Running Man makes sense. Well, then like Kindergarten Cop even. And Twigs, like sense. they play into the fact that he's so out of place. Yeah. Yes, but the weird ones are always the ones where he's in like New York. an yes. everyday guy. Yeah. But yes, the idea of the, the machine. Terminator sequels have retroactively made T2. A little silly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like they should all they should all look like little lanky, scrappy young dudes <laughs> who are just like, you know the nineties uh, uh uh Los Angeles, they should have sent like Matthew Perry, just like, just, <laughs> like a big bowling shirt yeah. and, like, and wide fit jeans. <laughs> what? I'm not here yeah. to kill you. Yeah. What? Could I be <laughs> looking for John Connor any harder? <laughs> Swing dancing his way. Pay uh, no attention to me. <laughs> I'm not here for any reason 
other than just to be normal. I'm infiltrating you. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, That's good. Good fun. Okay. Me. Let's keep going. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Robot bad. <laughs> So as all of our faves get old, enjoy another installment in the Loganization of Pop Culture, where a franchise film comes out that doesn't dwell on the terrible sequels, brings back a grizzled ass kicker, gives them a mean case of PTSD, pairs them with a young girl to hopefully take over from here, and has them do all the stuff you liked, but just differently enough to eke another 10 to 20 bucks out of you before dementia sets in and every movie feels new again. Whee. I'll be back. We know. Story. I don't think they will actually. Not after this. No. Uh, sure. I mean, they will. Yeah. yeah, give them a few. They Protect, extended it by five attack. years. Gooper Trooper. <laughs> K. <Kay>, Linda. <laughs> Bot Carl. Gone in 60 seconds. And the American healthcare system. Do you have a doctor's prescription? Here's my prescription. Terminator Dose. <laughs> <laughs> this is Max. Hey, <laughs> there's a new guy at my station. They took her <laughs> Damn machines. Irony. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's do First, a... they try to wipe us out, and now they're taking our factory gigs. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm a Luddite. All right, let's uh, let's watch some deleted scenes, see what mm -hmm. else we said. And in a brand new twist, half of it is in Mexico, which is technically different from setting it in L.A. Technically. Starring. Political. Danny McHyde. Danny California. <laughs> the Amazing Grace. Kylie Reese. Augment of a woman. Have you seen this Eha? <laughs> Goop true. I wrote a lot of one thousand Spanish ones. Uh, the T old woman and the gun. Lady Stoneheart. Granny, get your gun. It's Carl Senior. Wait, they gave Arnold a secret Latinx family. Seems a little on the nose. <laughs> now my back. And my least favorite murder. Oh. One Terminator. Too many. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Terminator, Dork Fate. <laughs> dork. <laughs> R.I.P. Men Magazine. Uh, there's a new guy at my station. Take our world, fine. But don't you dare take our gerbs, stupid machines. Robot bad. <laughs> All right, if enhanced humans run on a power source that kills Terminators from close range, why not just make weapons out of that and skip the middleman? Yeah. yeah, she has a she has a thing Spoilers inside of her that when you stab a Terminator, it not only takes out that Terminator, but also any Terminator near it. Yeah, and doesn't appear to cause any physical damage to people, and yeah. doesn't appear to harm humans. So like, why not just make guns that out shoot of, those things? <laughs> why not make the then, whole Terminator out of the power <laughs> source? <right. laughs> but uh, you know, you made a yeah. very inefficient protection, very uh, yeah. still mortal machine. Wrapped around something that it kills Terminators instantly. Yeah. Also, she clearly has not watched Terminator 3 because it's the same move that that Terminator does to kill the lady Terminator mm -hmm. at the end of that movie is take out his nuclear right. fuel cell and stuff it in but her mouth. But at least it's way more efficient. That one, but that one was at least like an A-bomb, so like you right. can't just go around detonating the past. nuclear no, bomb. But it's not like you'd have to be was... Starship Troopers or you're just shooting nuclear weapons. Right, but that was literally just like a thing that you just you shoot in the Terminator and yeah. it melts them. Put it on a stick, poke them with it, it from yeah. a distance. Just literally, you can that have would be, Now that's the future World War scene Z I want to see. Is poking sticks. Those like big ex, uh, you know, skeleton metal guys walking yeah. around with their big guns and then there's just humans like walking just Braveheart. up, yeah. poking them. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, what do y'all have to say about this dumb mm -hmm. movie? Um, Wither. Right. Mm -hmm. How is this a decent Terminator film? We're idiots. Uh, are the standards for good movies just drooping every year? Uh, drooping. Uh, I, I, think, I, com I compare this one to the others, and I think that this is I mean, let me still just say, a decent Terminator the film. The standards for good movies are just drooping every year. That's true. Like, I think that's a statement <laughs> of fact. They'd be drooping. Uh, yeah, I think uh, for me, decent Terminator film is, um, you know, I think by default it's in the middle of the pack for me. Like, just because yeah. I can't stand uh, Salvation or Genesis. I think it's yeah. clearly better than four and five. I think three is where you start to, now we're in a conversation. Sure, like, yeah. I, I prefer three, but I could yeah. see how you could give either one of those the pass. So yeah. that's that's upper 50%. Well, Taken holistically, I would take this over three, just because I feel like the middle part is better. I'll right, lie, like but, the ending of three but, the best. But I mean, like, that's at least, that's a speed round question. Yes. Like Terminator 3, Terminator 6, like, oh, okay, I think there's there's pluses yeah. and minuses on each side. Four and five clearly below this. Yes. Yeah. 
So Jay Logan writes, if the Resistance has access to reprogrammed T-800s, like we've seen in two different movies now, mm -hmm. why send back a human who can't even use her super mode without halfway killing herself? So, like, why not, instead of Grace, why not send back another Arnold? Another Arnold, yeah. Because he's, he's old. Well, Arnold... <laughs> he's tired. He's Arnold's also <laughs> don't exist, apparently, in this future. Right, so. that, that is an aged T-800 yes, that was from sent... The from the original Skynet right. future. Was yeah. sent so in the 90s, so you, Legion... You could say, you could, I, I guess you could defend that by saying Legion doesn't have the equivalent of a T-800 that could be reprogrammed. Mm -hmm. Right, like, they protector. couldn't, they don't know how to reprogram the, the, yeah. the Rev, whatever. The best they could do is send back an advanced. Okay. Human. Enhanced human. This right. should be interesting. Uh, Mariko True writes, if you have a real good time machine and go back to the script's origin, Ooh. what changes would you make to increase Dork Fate's success and rejuvenate the franchise? I like that if you read this sentence in a different way, like she means if you had a real good time machine, but you could read it like, if you had a real good time machine. A good oh, time a good machine. Time machine <laughs> that makes good times. Yeah. I wish I had one. I got a good times yeah. machine. If I had a, a time machine that would let me go back to change the script of this movie, though. Um, I, just, I would. I, I'd keep the setup. I actually would. I would. I would hmm. write. I would say, don't remake Terminator Two. Do something with Sarah Connor and and Arnold and it, like their current the legacy. I would say, take the legacy characters and keep what you did intact, but come up with something new for the new characters that makes this yeah. a, worth what, a different direction. What about this? Like. Could you have, I don't know, I just, I feel like I want Legion to be different than Skynet. If we're going to do the thing that Skynet is no more, we've, there's a different future now where a different humanity killing threat has arisen, I would say, I, I don't have a great idea, but like, something else. Not AI building robots, like not the same thing. Yeah. And I still think you bring in Arnold and he, that's how you, that's your Terminator connection. So we still got a Terminator on our side that's going to help us face this new threat. I just don't think you redo, it's the same exact threat again. We've, we've seen it five times. You've got an opportunity to a new future threat has arisen. Okay. Um, I would I, I would change it, uh, kind of go back to its roots. Like, I would make this a lower-budget horror action movie. Like, uh, you know, this came to James Cameron in a nightmare. Mm -hmm. This was a, this was a literal nightmare that he had that he wrote Terminator 1 based oh, on. Terminator 2, but we're making it in Mexico. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not this movie. The, not the, the, the original, original Terminator. Oh, the original Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, 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 I'm, oh, I'm directing, but I'm in a different hat. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't, av I I wasn't was, making Avatar Seven. I was fighting with the guy who made Deadpool. It's, it's, like, it's like, really weird. Yeah, well, there, there were no mini subs anywhere to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> the the original one Terminator. was based on a, a bad dream he had. Okay. I would make it like a more nightmarish. Like you have an enhanced human, you got a Terminator chasing him or her, and like they got to get to the time machine at the top of the building. Right. Like, just dreadify it. Well, right. We talked about this. A single location would be great because, yeah. like, then the threat is not this Terminator is like the ultimate killing machine. It could be a more simple Terminator, but it's like we can't get away from it. Yeah, that's the 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 element that's missing is like the relentlessness that it's like you cannot escape this thing. And this yeah. one just seemed kind of like an action movie. Mm -hmm. um, Less a chase and more like an alien, like you're like trapped alien. in here. Yes, you know, right? exactly. Yeah. Uh, so that would be the change. Remember I mean. when the T one thousand or the new one, whatever, the Rev nine uh, just showed yeah. up in a plane. <laughs> Yeah, they're just like, this yeah. is, I mean, this one, I mean, to its credit. <laughs> procured a large plane. <laughs> to its credit, this is a huge movie. I mean, it is It is more epic than I expected it to be. Like, it's, Yeah, it, the it, finale with the plane crashes over Hoover Dam. Yeah, like I mean, that. it's like, it's enormous. But bigger, not always better. Not always better, not always but better. the scale is impressive. Yeah. Uh, and then there were a million questions and comments about the Allen Raptor. If you're new and you've watched this far, we hide a uh, Jurassic Park 3 Raptor in every episode. So. The one that says Allen and Samuel's Allen. Although we've, we've branched out. No, it's just, just a Raptor. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. that's just the head. So we, right. we hide a Raptor somewhere. But it's I, in my mind, in yeah, my hand, it's, it's the still, same Raptor. It's the one he dreamed about. Yeah, we yeah. just show full body shots. Exactly. <laughs> we do it for two reasons. Number one, to entertain ourselves. And yes. number two, to frustrate and confuse you. Yes. It's mostly the same. Mostly, mostly to frustrate <laughs> and confuse you yeah. directly, yeah. And that's the Honest Trailers promise. Uh, we hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we hope you will come back <laughs> next week, where we are uh, uh, we are digging in. You know, we'll have everything we need for uh, to make a good meal of this next movie. Oh, I get it. Uh, okay. And we'll be back at this desk at this time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.